Hello everyone, you are watching Physio Classroom channel and in this video we are going to learn practically the right way to perform the SLR test. SLR test should be performed by the physiotherapist to test for the movement and mechanical sensitivity of the lumbosacral nerve roots, plexus and their extension into the lower limb. The common indications for performing the SLR test are low back pain, pain in the posterior gluteal region, the posterior lateral thigh, posterior lateral calf as well as heel pain. The test intention is to rule out the involvement of the nervous system in the production of patient's symptom. So to perform the SLR test, the therapist makes the patient lie down in the supine lying position with no pillow under the head. The therapist is going to stand on the leg end of the table and is going to face towards the head end. Now although standard SLR testing incorporates two movements that is knee extension and hip flexion but still the handling of the limb plays a crucial role in determining the accuracy of the test. So two important things that needs to be kept in mind before starting with the hip flexion and knee extension movement are number one do not allow any hip internal or external rotation movement or hip adduction and abduction movement during the performance of the SLR test and number two do not allow the knee to fall into even slightest of flexion during the hip flexion movement and this is going to alter the sensitivity of the SLR test. So the therapist gripping for the performance of the SLR test is going to be the corded hand is going to come below the leg just proximal to the ankle joint and is going to hold the leg with the lumbrical grip whereas the cephalid hand of the therapist can come either proximal to the knee joint or distal to the knee joint. So after the therapist grips the distal thigh and distal leg of the patient with the mentioned hold while ensuring a neutral alignment of the hip the leg is going to be raised into ranges of hip flexion while carefully observing and monitoring the patient's symptoms now at the onset of the symptoms the test is next proceeded with the identification of whether the neural structures have to do something with the patient's problem and the differentiating maneuver that has to be utilized is ankle dorsiflexion now the idea here is that by adding the ankle dorsiflexion we are only going to influence the nerves in the proximal region that is in the hip pelvis and the lumbosacral region without altering the musculoskeletal tissues and if ankle dorsiflexion increases the patient's symptoms then we can confirm it to be a neural problem but the challenge here is that once the left hand is lifted from the thigh and goes and dorsiflexes the ankle then we are actually compromising the knee extension because of which the sensitivity of the test is going to be reduced therefore the right way to add ankle dorsiflexion to the standard slr test is going to be the therapist is first going to raise one leg and is going to keep it over the treatment couch and now the therapist has comfortably come in a position in which the patient's leg can be easily rested on the shoulder joint without reducing the hip flexion movement and now the right hand is free this is going to come over the medial aspect of the thigh and is going to wrap around the proximal of the knee joint and now with the free left hand the therapist can easily add the ankle dorsiflexion movement but the next challenge here is that when we add the ankle dorsiflexion movement it adds proximal forces along the lower limb so much so that it can also produce some pelvic movements and therefore there is going to be movement in the musculoskeletal tissues as well therefore to accurately differentiate and confirm the involvement of the nervous system what the therapist is going to do is that while the therapist adds ankle dorsiflexion to the ankle at the same time the right hand of the therapist is going to add a proximal approximating force to that of the ankle dorsiflexion and this way these two forces are going to be neutralized and only the nerves are going to move in the problematic region so the test is going to be like this i add ankle dorsiflexion and approximating force with the right hand and if this increases the patient's symptom then this is positive for nerve involvement the slr test can be further sensitized to test individually the different 
peripheral nerves of the lower limb which we are going to cover in our upcoming videos. So this was all about the important information that I wanted to share with you all regarding the right way to perform the SLR test. See you all in our next video. Till then, keep, learning, keep, keep sharing learning. and stay connected.